My ex-wife cheated on me so I divorced her and left her and the three children that weren't mine. The title sums things up well. I married a serial cheater, we had three kids together. Shortly after the oldest's tenth birthday and when she was pregnant a fourth time, I discovered she cheated on me. At first, I just rolled over and took it. I told her I loved her regardless and just wanted to take care of our family. I made it clear over the months that I wanted to paternity test the new baby. I don't know why but a few weeks before the baby was due, it dawned on me that she could have been cheating the whole time and I insisted that we test all the children to see if they were mine. She protested heavily at first which only furthered my suspicions. At this point I became angry and bitter that I poured my heart, time, and money into this family that could all have been a big lie. Well, it was. Not one of those kids was mine. The forced realization that literally everything was a lie and I was being used as a housing clothing food entertainment transportation provider enraged me, so I went out and found a lawyer and divorced her. I'm still stuck paying child support, but I've moved far away and I'm decently happy with my life now. Job I have now pays way, way less, but I enjoy it a lot and I love where I live now, Alaska versus Illinois. I have zero contact with her or her children anymore. I just begrudgingly send a check out every month. I've shared this story with a few people in my life and they always want to guilt me for abandoning my family. Thing is, they aren't my family. They're the family of up to four other guys, I was just being used to take care of them in every meaningful way. 15 years of my life, an ungodly amount of money, and all the emotion I had invested into that family were all stolen from me. But just like no one has any empathy or sympathy found me, I refused to grant it to her and her children. I went through life always hearing how life isn't fair. But I never realized just what that meant until this whole ordeal. Literally every time I tried to confide in someone, even therapists, they called on me to put myself to the side and consider the children. It was made abundantly clear to me that I did not matter. How I felt did not matter. The betrayal I suffered did not matter. So I decided that I needed to matter to someone, and that someone may as well be me. Comment 1. This is a weird subreddit. People confess the stuff they did and then everyone gathers around and tells them it was f up. Maybe the mother should have considered the potential effects of lying to a man who thought he was raising his kids. Society is trying to blackmail him into continuing his victim status because of the choice the mother made, which is just weird and really f sexist too. If women were forced by men to mother children who weren't theirs, after over a decade of lies, this would be a different conversation. Also, dude, a therapist is supposed to be on your side. The kids can get their own therapists, and will probably need to thanks to this shit show. Sure, the kids are hurt, but that's because of the sociopathic ex-poster did the kids a service here in a sense. Taught them not to stay and be emotionally and financially abused by a lying woman. So that's something. Comment 2. I'm a woman, I am completely on your side. I was enraged reading your post. Yeah, not the children's fault, but too bad. I even wish you didn't have to pay child support. Let her go get it from their dads. Useless woman. Comment 3. Don't you miss the kids. After 5 years I don't think I could leave my baby girl even if I found out she wasn't mine. We do all kinds of fun stuff together and I often miss her if I or she is away for a couple of days. On the other hand it's completely bonkers that you are paying child support for kids that aren't yours. I get the best for the child, but really. You were basically picked randomly. There are around 4 billion men in the world, including you, who are not the father of these kids, why should you pay? Comment 4. Hi poster, bit of a late response but I just wanted to say you are 100% in the clear. The people that judge you for leaving are armchair critics and want you to be some godlike being that forgives everyone and sacrifices himself for the greater good. Don't pay any attention to them because they have no idea how devastating all this was on you. You are not selfish or a terrible person for choosing to leave an unhealthy situation for yourself. The responsibility of reconnecting those children with the actual fathers is that of the mothers. And for the people spewing on about blood and semen not making a father, those men had the choice to raise someone else's kid, you didn't. Best of luck poster and within a certain time frame after birth, in some states you can contest paternity in the US. So maybe try and see if you can contest it for the fourth one. Otherwise, if you tell those kids the truth then perhaps the mother will make an effort to find the actual father, in which case contesting child support is a lot more feasible. Best of luck and take care of yourself. Get better therapists and hey, at least you'll always have yourself to rely on. Screw them. 
Comment 5. I can't imagine being 10 and having my dad up and leave and never contact me again because of a paternity test. The poster answered with. Imagine being 10 and having never known your father because of your mom's lies. The commenter answered back with. Sure, that's upsetting. But that's my biological dad, not the man who raised me and who I thought loved me. Then, the poster said. I definitely know what it's like to think a person loves you and then realize they never did. At least when I loved those kids, it was honest. And the commenter's answer was, doesn't sound like you loved them. Good to know you enjoy punishing innocent children over something your ex-wife did. Like how can you not see how that's messed up man?